to UE5 BP Guru. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, getting some items together ready for collection, um, like wood and stone, uh, so that we can start using them um, for crafting and building and things like that. So the first thing we need to do is actually go into Blender. Um, this is more of a Blender tutorial today than it is an Unreal tutorial, but it's cool, bear with me. <laughs> so we're gonna um, delete this uh, cube out. Uh, we're gonna shift A and we're gonna, we gotta create two things. The first being a stone. So we're gonna get ourselves a sphere. We'll drag it up a little bit. And um, we're actually gonna use the sculpting tool, or at least I'm gonna try to anyway. Um, we need to flatten off this area a little bit. Um, a, quite a lot actually. Um, that uh, looks kind of good and then um, I'm just gonna do a little bit more uh, but there just so we get this kind of flatter looking uh, um, shape and then I'm just gonna kind of deform it a little bit um, kind of just switch between taking away and um, adding and you can take away and add by using shift and clicking that like that will make it go in and if you just hold it down it will um, build upon it like with the sculpting tool we're only using the draw tool we could even use probably some of this clay tool as well um, I don't really know if that's doing anything uh, at least a little bit uh, we can try out some of the other tools the clay strips and we can do a layer I guess uh, it looks kind of um, a little bit more uh, drawn out and it, it doesn't really matter too much on the shape as long as it's kind of flatter on the bottom uh, we kind of that looks kind of cool and then all we're gonna do is add on a smooth uh, and we need to up that factor oh uh, let's also add in a subdivision oh that looks a lot better that's cool and then if we up the smooth factor okay we've got this kind of lumpy um, we've got this lumpy kind of uh, do, 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 I'm just trying to and that looks, that looks okay I guess I haven't really done too much here uh, if I'm being really honest with myself but let's, uh, let's just try and do a little bit more let's try and uh, Pull out a little bit here and down here. Yeah, that looks kind of stonish, I guess. Let's flatten that off a little bit more. Mm, just looking okay. Let's just click okay, accept all that. Cool. Um, it's very kind of cubey, but that's kind of cool because it goes with the uh, the low poly kind of look of it. Uh, and the last thing we need to really do now is just whack on a uh, base color. We're gonna go with kind of like a light gray. Let's go into the shading, and yep, that looks kind of light grayish. That looks kind of okay. I'm alright with that. Okay, we might roughen it up a little bit um, when we get into Unreal, but for now, we're just gonna FBX save it. Uh, so all you need to do is just go into File, Export, and FBX, and that's your stone done. And then once we've done that, I will do the next one. Okay, here we are back in a uh, new file where we're gonna now create our second item, which is gonna be our wood. Now, the first thing I want to do is scale down this cube to very, very small. That should be good. Then we're gonna go into edit mode at the top here and we're gonna click on face. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna keep it square. I could've used a cylinder, I suppose, um, but I kinda like the thought of using um, a cube instead to keep that, um, kind of cubey feel to it. Uh, I'm going to do this and then what I'm going to do from here is um, I'm going to extrude it out a little bit more but from here I'm going to just and then I'm just going to um, move this face up. Uh, I don't think I like that. Let's try that again. Let's just do it like this. Uh, and I don't want to do it as far as that. Let's do that, and then drink, bring it out again, and then we'll do 
that, then I'm going to also rotate that front face. And actually, I think I should probably rotate this as well. Yeah, that looks semi better. And then we're going to oh, rotate it to face there. And then we're going to move it. And it should just look a little bit better. There we go. Um, and I kind of feel like I should try to do some modifications on it. Let's try adding in a subsurface modifier. Oh, that looks, looks a lot better. It looks a lot better. Okay. Huh. Funny how, what we can do, right? Uh, let's just put in a couple of loot cuts. There we go. Uh, let's apply that. Uh, oh, it's because we're in edit mode. And then, yeah, that looks better. Wow, that looks so much better. And then we're going to also add in a smooth. And we're going to up that smooth factor a little bit. Not too much. There we go. Cool. And that will become our wood. So let's apply both of those. Then we can go into our shading tool. We can create a material and we can change that to kind of like a disgusting brown. Um, let's click on this instead. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go, a nice light brown. Um, and then all we gotta do is uh, export that as well. And we'll call this one wood. called it eu -ud. that's fine okay brilliant and then uh, we're done and i will see you back in unreal engine okay so with unreal engine open now we can go into i've created a little folder called my assets and uh, i will drag in the stone and the wood once you've dragged it into your unreal engine you will have this little window come up we don't need to because we're they're going to be static ash, uh, assets we don't need to um click on any of these other buttons, we can just click import all, which is wonderful. There we go. No smoothing group was found. That's fine. That's not an issue. And then we have our e -ood. I'm probably going to rename that now. Um, oh, that's uh, because I'm clicked, selecting two items. My apologies. Rename. So we'll call this wood underscore SA. Oh, Jesus, it saved at the wrong time there. And I'm going to call it a uh, static uh, mesh or SM and then we've got our stone here uh, we can rename that oh god I'm clicking all the wrong buttons delete that one delete that one yeah rename we'll call this stone underscore static mesh there we go and it'll keep it easier to track later on down the line let's see how big this is that is some big old wood it's a little bit too big but we can change that when we start using it in our item uh, crafting thingy and let's see how big the stone ended up being. Wow, it's pretty big. Uh, I'm not going to lie. But again, to be honest, we could use some of these um, just by rotating them around to add some aesthetic to the beach. Uh, and then we can then use smaller versions of these to use for pickups. And um, yeah, simple as that. I mean, it's not as smooth as I'd like it. I probably should have added some more subdivisions um, and made it a hell of a lot smoother. But uh, when it's a lot smaller, let's have a look when, what happens when we get make it a bit smaller. Uh, maybe a bit smaller on that too. Oh, let's drag it up. And uh, in all honesty, actually, it doesn't look too bad. As I say, could have done with maybe a little bit more, but honestly, uh, it, it ain't half bad. Let's change this to a one. It's making some absolutely ludicrous jumps there. Um, there we go, let's try again. There we go, that's a bit better. Okay. So, yeah, we'll see these sort of sitting on the floor and we will be able to pick them up. And again, if we resize this one, uh, make it a little bit smaller. That's kind of what I was more looking to go for. Um, and yeah, we'll be able to pick those sort of items up off the ground and use them to uh, in our crafting. So in the next episode, we're going to start with basically making it. I'll show you what I've been working on for the next episode. 
you'll be able to um, go up to objects and get a highlight to show which one is the uh, highlight in question. Same for this one. And I'm going to do this for the stones and the wood so we know what we can pick up or interact with. And um, yeah, as you can see, if I go over to this item at the moment, uh, it's not set up. Um, oh, God, I'm doing too much on my computer once, clearly. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see that they don't highlight even though it's running at like one frame per second. There we go. Um, so yeah, we can we can go up to them, but we can't do anything with them at the moment. And also, I've just noticed that highlight hasn't stopped. Whoops. Um, I think that's to do with my collision. Um, not being the best on these bigger items, but that's fine. There we go. It's removed it now. Um, yeah, so uh, that's what we're aiming to do, um, is we're going to basically set up that those items there can now show this border outline that we can interact with them. And then it's just from there creating a pickup and adding those certain items into uh, the correct inventories. Um, and once we've done that, we can then move on to actually crafting some items and actually getting going uh, with this project. Because at the moment, we've done our island and now it seems a bit static. But we will get there. Don't worry. All good things come to those who wait. <laughs> but thank you so much for checking out this uh, semi-blender tutorial, I guess. Semi-unreal tutorial. Um, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much. Take care. Much love. Bye.